Hello everyone, welcome again. So today we will talk about Arduino libraries. Okay, we will talk about them and we will learn why do we need libraries from the beginning and how we can develop our own custom library. Okay, so libraries, there are many reasons why do we need them. First of all, maybe we have uh, very complicated code that we already develop and we want to keep it aside and we want only use it when we need it Or maybe this code after you develop it you can use it in different Programs later so you can just call this library and add it to your code Okay Or maybe you develop your own functions that can do very smart calculation and you want to share with your friends or with other people, with your students maybe, so you can just share online and they can download it and import it into their own system so they can use it, okay? <clears throat> How to make the Arduino library? So this is what we will learn in this video. So first of all, to explain what are the libraries and how they work. So I'll start with very simple uh, simple sketch so here i open a per minimum sketch and i will develop a calculator uh, sketch where we do a very simple calculation methods or functions so let's start with let's say the first um, function Let's say integer sum where it will add up two numbers we'll take or since we do this calculation let's let's make it float better let's make it float so will be float float uh, let's say a and float b <clears throat> so this function will return a plus b okay so this function will return a plus b mm, let's make another function let's just copy this uh, let's say this one a subtractor also a b but this time we'll return a minus b another one let's say uh, division mm, it will be a divided by b and let's say we have a multiplication multiplication which will return a multiplied by b <clears throat> okay, let's compile. Should be okay. We didn't do any rocket science here, just a few functions and okay. Oh, yeah, this is wrong, shouldn't be here. Uh, I guess it's fine, it should be all the way here. Yeah, mm. now should uh, be happy. The compiler should be happy. Okay. Mm. Okay, so here we define a few functions to our calculator. So now we can test them. First, let's call the serial so we can display some numbers. Serial again, let's use 9600. Okay, so now <clears throat> if you want to use them, I'll define three variables, one for A, B, and Z, or, or the result. So I have float X, Y, and Z for the, this is just for testing. So I'll define X equal, let's say 10.2, any random number, Y equal, let's say 15.3, now let's call the um, sum function. So z equal sum of 
x y and then let's print print line and now let's call the rest of the functions uh, we have subtraction divide and multiplication so we have sub and we have divide and multiplication okay so here we will call one by one and print the result okay let's test it out so here i have arduino mega com4 okay let's upload okay done nice so here we go this is the result so if we come here we just double check the result the summation which is 10.2 plus 15.3 correct the sub also correct minus 5.10 and the rest should be okay okay so now <clears throat> have already built our function let's say this is our big fat functions that we want to move them to a library okay so this library can be used in another code or another sketches at the same time we can share this library online so they can use it other people can use it as well okay so first of all we need to add two new files okay so from here from this little triangle we go here and click on new tab and this new tab we add two new files one is the header file the second one is the c++ or cpp file so i will call it uh, super calculator library this is the library name it will be super calculator dot h and i will copy the name okay Again, I will make new tab super calculator dot C plus so CPP. Sorry, this is a CPP. Okay, okay. So here we have these two files that we are going to work on them, and these are our function that we will move them to a, a library. Okay. So this is the first step of. Uh, designing or developing our own library so now let's move on and see how to move these functions into a library okay guys so after we finish with this we create our two new files with the same name but different extension this is the name of these two files will be same as our library name okay so First of all, we start with the header file. In the header file, we need to check whether the library has been already called or, I mean, been called multiple times. So we need to call it only once uh, by using if define or if not define. If not defined with the name of the library, our library is super calculator. Okay, you have noticed here the name of the library should be all capital. Super calculator or super calc is all capital, and we don't use dot h, but we use underscore h. Okay. If not defined, if already defined or already been called inside the sketch, so we don't need to define it again. So now we, by this code, will handle the multiple definition or multiple declaration of the library. Okay. If not defined, so I will define it. Define 
super calculator underscore h show h character. Okay, if not defined, define it, and then we will close the if. And if okay, so this is our header file. If not defined with the name of the library, all capital uh, letter instead of the dot, we put underscore and hash capital. If not defined, we define it then and if. And the C file is still empty and the calculator is still the same. Let's see it. Okay, now inside the he the header file or the super calculator.h inside this file we take the prototype of the function that we want to move it to a library okay the prototype is this this line call is a prototype of the function okay so we put it here we have some uh, sub division and multiplication we have sub division and multiplication. Okay, so these are the prototypes of our functions. Then we ended up with a semicolon. I said, okay, header file. We need to first check whether it's already been defined or not. Then we copy all the prototypes of the functions that we need to that we want to move it to the library okay then inside the c++ file inside the c++ file first we need to call the header or we need to include the header so hash include super calculator .h. okay so this is in the c++ the first thing we need to call the header then we need to call the complete functions so all the functions that we are using them here okay this function we want to move it to a library and just cut them and put it here that's all so the header file will be this including the prototypes C++, we call the header, then we add all the libraries, uh, sorry, all the functions that we want to move it to a library, okay? So now we see if we compile, we expect an error. Why? Because we move all the function exactly. So now the compiler doesn't recognize what is the sum. You see, it's not declaring this code. Why? Because we move it out of here. So how to solve this? Simply, we just need to include our new library, which is Hash include super calculator dot h. So now, if we compile, the compiler should know where to find these functions. Voila, magic! Here we go. Okay, so now our compiler knows that okay, these functions are from this library. Okay, which is this library files are here. Okay, so one thing to notice here, sometimes inside the library, we might need to access some predefined function like uh, what they call digital write, digital read, analog write, analog, any of these predefined functions from the Arduino we need to add the Arduino library to the header here. We need to include hash include Arduino .h. This is very important library to be included inside our header because later maybe if you want to add any predefined functions Okay, like digital read, digital write, or anything related to this, then 
uh, Arduino one or the compiler one really recognize it unless you add this library. So to be safe, you just keep it here. Okay, so now let's do some testing. We compiled first, then we upload our board. Let's see the board. Okay, compile correct, upload. Okay, it's uploading, writing, reading, nice. Let's check. Here we go, exactly same results, okay? So as we can see here, very straightforward, very easy steps. We have moved all our functions into a library. One thing to notice here, one thing to notice here that sometimes when we include the library, now this is our library, when we include our library, we use uh, quotations or double quotations. And sometimes when we add another library, we use a uh, uh, angular brackets. Why? Why we do so? This, the main reason of this is, if you see here, this is my, this is my sketch uh, folder. So it's located here. So you see, this is the calculator uh, sketch, and here is the super calculator and supercalculator.cpp and supercalculator.h. You see, these two folders they are in the same folder as my sketch, my library in the same folder as my sketch. So I'm using the quotations. Okay, if the library in the same folder as the main sketch, we use the double quotation. If the library is out of the, if the library, you see here, we don't have Arduino.h here. It's not in the main folder of the sketch, but it's maybe somewhere in the main Arduino library directories, okay, which is inside the document Arduino main library. So we need to use the Angular brackets, okay? So later when we move these two files to a proper library, we will move these two files in a proper library out of the Arduino or out of this sketch file, then we will need to change this double quotation to angular brackets okay so until this point again let's review very fast first of all we take all the prototypes all the prototype of, of our function as much as functions we have we put it here inside the header and for sure the header we need to check if we already defined the library we no need to define again if it's not defined, it is defined, then with this <coughs> include Arduino.h is useful for, especially if you have call uh, specific functions like dictionary, digital right, all the others predefined functions in the Arduino. Then we mention the prototypes and end if this is where in the .h file. .cpp or the .c++ we need to add the header file, then we put all the functions, including the prototypes and including the main body of the functions, okay? Then in our code, we just need to mention our library and that's all. Then the compiler will know, okay, these functions are part of this library. Okay, so now next we will learn how to move this library or uh, move it to a new folder with the same name then we move it to the main Arduino library so we can access them uh, globally from different uh, sketches and also to I mean prepare it maybe zip it and prepare it to send it to online or another friends by the way we can do some testing now we can open new and we try to add the library. We try to add the library. Hash include. So 
supercalculator.h. Now let's compile. That's the same, now to save. It's compiling now. See? It will complain about this library. It says there is no such file or directory. For sure, there is no such file. Why? Because our library that we just deployed is still here, which is in the same location or the same folder as the main sketch. We haven't sent it yet to the main Arduino library file, so it can be accessed globally so now it's just a local library so next we will move it to the global destination so we can access it from all the sketches okay okay guys so after we finish all our settings for our new library now we are ready to move it out to the final destination okay so first of all, I'll bring my library folder here, then I'll make folder exactly same name as the library, which is super calculator. Okay. Then I will move these two files, which is the header and the CPP inside my super calculator. Then I will copy this. Or better to cut it. Don't copy so it won't be here. I just cut it. Then I will bring this is my Arduino libraries. This is the main global Arduino libraries. You can find in the document Arduino libraries. Then I will paste it here. There it is. Super calculator. Okay. So now. Since I move it out, you can see here there are no more files inside my calculator. So I will close this because this one still mentioned these two. So I will close this one, then I will reopen it again. Okay, it's loading now. So here we go. It's open now, and you can see here no more sub files here, only my main code. So if I compile it, let's see if the compiler will like it. Oh. Okay, now it's like it, but actually this is not a good practice, we shouldn't use this. It's better to change to Angular bracket. Okay, and let's change this, let's make it, let's say, 11 by 16. Let me upload. Hmm. Uh, time oh, I guess because we already opened the uh, yes, the serial already open, so we need to close it and try again. Yes. Now happy. Okay. Here we go. So this is our code. It's working. So now. Let's try make brand new code, then we add our library. Let's see if it's working now. So we hash include
super calculator edge compile as to save don't save there we go you see now we can access this from any other sketch <clears throat> so now let's say mm, we take this just for testing okay we put it here so now we just declare x y z and also we just want to check whether the sum is already can, can be recognized or not by the compiler it's just for testing we won't do anything here there we go it's working now you can add your code or your super functions whatever very smart uh, function to any other sketch that you are working on and only and not only one okay so now from here this is our super calculator files <coughs> that we developed so we can zip this one we can just add to zip or to archive okay then we can share it with our friends or we online or anywhere so they can add it to their own library and make use of it okay so again let's review it very fast first of all we did our functions okay, that we want to move it to a library then we make two files two files which are Later, we make two files, which is the header and C++. The header file contain the prototype, C++ contain the complete functions, and then we copy them inside a folder with the same name. Then we move them to the global library folder, so we can access them everywhere out of the uh out of the i mean from any other sketch okay so i hope you have learned something new from this this is a very very basic and standard library we have just developed in the future we will make more complicated one with more uh add more uh functionalities add more techniques and keywords and uh, examples also to the library to make it complete library okay but so far is also completed but we can add more that we will learn in the next tutorial i hope you have learned something let me know if you have any concern thanks for watching and see you